About six years ago, I started a conversation with Hans Ulrich about what would the institution of the 21st century be. And that began with a series of experiments in art and technology. As these technologies come into the world and begin to shape the world, we see a space for the artists in kind of telling a different narrative about the role of technology in society. This year, as part of the Digital Commission programme, we have launched four different commissions. That started earlier this year with Hito Style's Actual Reality OS, which was an augmented reality data visualisation tool. The second commission in 2019 was Serpentine Augmented Architecture. That was a collaboration with Google Arts and Culture and Sir David Ajay. An open call that was launched in February 2019. From those applications, we chose The Deep Listener by Jakob Kutz-Steensen. The Deep Listener is an artwork that spans all across uh, Kensington Gardens and Hyde Park. So you download an app onto your phone. I am the Deep Listener. In these locations, you're spawning these 30 meter large kind of uh, ecosystems and creatures and each one of those is based on real existing uh, bats, birds, insects, roots and trees in the park. So the Deep Listener is kind of a way of engaging people with different species in the park and allow them to listen in new ways. And we also have a sculpture in front of the Serpentine Gallery that is made from a 3D skinned bone. And then I moved it around with my own body in VR and then that became a shape that's then 3D printed and shown in front of the gallery. A lot of us are used to being on our phones a lot and kind of just experiencing the world through this tiny little screen. So I wanted to move away from that idea. So instead I wanted to use AR uh, primarily focused on audio. The third commission that we launched in 2019 was a book and web AR project by the artist Suzanne Triester. Suzanne Triester is a pioneer of the web-based digital new media arts world, I would say. I was trying to imagine a kind of time and space after humanity. And so I had this idea for this character called the Escapist, a complete abstract entity, totally indeterminate, who, who possibly lives inside a black hole, which is technically impossible, um, or, or somehow inhabits uh, the universe or the meta-universe. There was so much uh, like an imaginary space in them that I needed to do paintings to somehow um, represent those spaces. My work uh, went from being like very non-digital to being very early on um, digital, like in 91 when I got my first computer. And then uh, in about 2000, I went back to more traditional media. In order to talk about new technologies, um, from outside of new technologies because I thought that was a more critical um, position. The fourth commission that we've launched is Jena Sutella's E Magma. It's a co-commission with Moderna Music in Stockholm. It's a work in two parts, uh, a community of uh, hand-blown lava lamps in the shapes of heads and a divination app. You're kind of inside one of the lava heads. Uh, you see the world through this uh, face that's also distorting reality. In the 90s, in Silicon Graphics, they used uh, lava lamps as a random number generator. In this case, I'm kind of turning it around and, and trying to find meaning, uh, patterns, signs in the, the blobs of liquid color in motion. There's this mystical layer behind all of our computing. And, and this piece is uh, bringing that forth. This is my first app <laughs> and also my first AR piece. <laughs> it's a unique opportunity of doing this two-part piece and also one that's not only in two cities, but then also spread across <laughs> the globe through this app. All of the artists that we've worked with in 2019 are all engaging with not only the sort of technical aspects of technology, but their social, economic, political ramifications of what these advanced technologies do. I think the Serpentine is prepared to take on um, big questions and is prepared to build bridges into different worlds. We're interested in what an artistic perspective can bring to disrupting the ideas, notions and narratives that evolve around new technology.